Hey, yo, what's good, you guys? It's Boomer and Jerk watching Bolly Star. Today, we're just getting into power actor Michael Rainey Jr. sexually assaulted on Twitch live stream. Now, I've seen uh, a full-length clip of what happened. You know what I'm saying? I had to double back on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, look twice. Be like, hold on. You know what I'm saying? See old girl groping on him and all that. Him looking up mad uncomfortable but still trying to keep it, you know what I'm saying, like civil and, you know what I'm saying, just, you know, trying to keep it, like, entertaining for the stream and all that. You know what I'm saying? I saw all that. Now, hey, bro, it's not just girls that get assaulted. You see that clearly now. You feel me? So... Yeah, man, let's see what ABC News has to say about it. Yes, it made it on to national television, bruh. Let's see what they talking about, man. Let's get straight on into it. Let's go. By the way, uh, I fixed the background noise situation, so you could barely hear it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I just hooked up my mic that I usually do music into. I hooked that up, so hopefully the noise won't be as prominent. You feel me? So that's what I'm hoping to do for the rest of my reactions and stuff, man. Just get more of a real uh, and less background noise in them. Thank you for staying up late with us. We have a great program planned for you and some great guests tonight here on The Factor Uncensored. Let's get right down to business. This is an important reminder tonight. Men can also be victims of sexual assault, in case you didn't know. An actor says he's still processing what happened to him after a woman grabbed him inappropriately on a live stream. This happened Sunday on a Twitch live stream for an influencer named Ty Ty Jones. Actor Michael Rainey Jr., who is from Power, can be seen... By the way, shout out to homie, bro. He one of Kai's homies, bro. For him to, like, you know, he just started doing the streaming thing. And for him to already get stars that Kai would get, bro. Like, those are W man tings. You know what I'm saying? Like, Kai's a W man for possibly hooking him up with, like, you know, big guests. No doubt. And to have stuff like this, like, F it all up. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if it's family, it's like, bro. Yeah, because, like, when a person just starts uh, streaming, you know what I'm saying? The people around him are still living in reality. And when they come across stars and stuff, you know, they most likely don't know how to control themselves. It's like uh, these... Swifties going crazy for Taylor Swift. They ain't never met Taylor Swift. And once they go backstage for the first time to meet Taylor Swift, they don't know how to act, bro. They're like, oh my God, it's Taylor Swift right in front of me. Like, what do I do? Do I get autographed? Do I, you know what I'm saying, shake her hand? You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. You feel me? So, yeah. The background when a woman who has been identified as James' sister walks up to him and appears to grab him by the private area. You can see it on Rainey's face. He looked very uncomfortable by the encounter. Today, he released a statement saying he's in shock and that, quote, sexual assault is never okay regardless of gender or status. We're all human and we should respect each other. Most importantly, we should respect ourselves. Joining us to talk about it, trauma therapist Chow Wen. So Chow, when you took a look at that video, what went through your mind? Well, the reaction on his face, the disbelief and the freezing, that's considered a trauma response. We either fight, flight, freeze, we fawn, and it looked like he was freezing. He didn't know what to do. He was touched inappropriately. That is sexual violence. And men receive, are victimized by sex, sexual violence as well. One in four, they say, in their lifetime. It's a spectrum. It can be anything from touching to penetration. And so how do you make the public and people in general take that seriously because you think of a male you should be able to handle it you should be able to walk away or confront the person and say don't do it again but there should be nah that's not cool bro there should be recourse there should be there should be accountability look 
When a man is touched inappropriately, and we live in a culture that says men have to man up, and there's this issue that, you know, men should be the strong one, it creates a lot of shame and stigma. A lot of men don't even speak up about being sexually violated or yeah. a victim of sexual violence because of the cultural stigma and shame around the message that oh, if you're going to be sexually assaulted as a man, it's okay because you're a man, or you should have spoken out or gotten tough. I mean, we do see these cases. Men are victims of violence. They do come forward, and when they come forward, they often say, are you sure I can talk about it? Mm -hmm. Are you sure I can address it? Because they're embarrassed. They don't know what to say. They freeze. And when you have a case like this, when initially the one who held the live stream online he was like what's the big deal obviously it was his sister what's the big deal i don't see what the problem is he walked that back later yeah. and said he would never condone anything like that <laughs> and a lot of people are like I mean, you know what's the big deal what's the big deal what's the big deal is somebody touch somebody else without his consent we have to do a better job of talking about consent right is this is my body this is your body you're not allowed to touch it without my permission and it's unfortunate that his initial reaction was what's the big deal that is to me an imprint uh, a reflection on sort of the cultural uh, 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 stereotypes when it comes to men and women and sexual violence. And of course you have that double standard there because people would have been up in arms if it was a female, you know, mm -hmm. if she was grabbed in a private area like that. If she was a female, if that was a female that was grabbed, we we're probably going to bring the police in. Yeah, the Here world would have been on fire. It. I'm glad you're giving people a platform to talk about it. But you're right, the standards are not the same. They're not equal. She might have been, uh, the police might have called, there was an investigation here. It's like, and the poor actor, what did he say? I'm still processing it. He's still in shock. He froze. And he might have to suffer the ramifications because it went so public. I mean, listen, the aftermath of sexual violence... I just think it's something, man, when Kai's homie had apologized and his sister didn't say anything... Like, I don't think he even said he apologized on her behalf. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like, how come his sister didn't say anything or so? For men and women, PTSD, anxiety, depression, uh, avoiding places, flashbacks, nightmares. Can you imagine having to live with a lifetime of that? If you're a man, it doesn't matter. And do we think the definition matches the term i think a lot of people lose it there because if you just touch someone then you say that's sexual assault right and i said just but if yeah. you touch someone they'll say that's sexual assault when i think of sexual assault and when many of us think of sexual assault and you hear it, you think of rape or something right. like that not touching someone that you is think that's part of the problem it is and that's this is an opportunity to continue to educate people about sexual assault it's a spectrum it starts with touching it ends at rape and it you know Anybody can be a victim of sexual assault, sexual violence. It's an act that is, 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 that is performed without your consent. And is it part of our problem as men who say, look, you should be able to handle that, yeah. you know, chin up? It, it, it is the cultural stereotype of masculinity and, and, and what we call toxic masculinity. Mm -hmm. You know, man up, do this. We've got to do a better job. Or like, you know... You're G-A-Y, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I wish that happened to me, you know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, and it's crazy how my mind is slowly changing because it's like, yeah, I'll look at stuff like that and be like, dang, I wish, you know what I'm saying, the girl that, you know, a girl would grow up me like that, you know what I'm saying? I'll go crazy or something, you know, but it's like, yo, you really don't know until you're in those shoes, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you might not be feeling like yourself that day. You know what I'm saying? Like, you might be feeling at your lowest point and some girl just wants to start grabbing you, but you're not feeling it. You know what I'm saying? She just, you know, treating you like that. It's like, bro. It's just crazy now. You know what I'm saying? And, and like any other situation, uh, uh, 
occurs to where she's just doing that to you and you're just like, bro, nah, man. It's like I'm starting to like see it that way now. And it's like, yeah, bro. But again, it's like the stereotype, like the stigma behind like men like getting sexually assaulted. It's just like, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you should be lucky or some ish, bro. Not knowing what that dude is going through for real. Talking about this at a very young age, talking about healthy behaviors and how we treat each at that other. time it like happened. That actor said, just as human beings, equal respect. And a lot of fathers and mothers had this conversation with their daughters do you think it's something that now should include their sons it should have included their sons long ago the but same we know historically it has not it hasn't and it continues to not but we've got to talk to girls just as we talk to girls about taking care of their bodies and protecting their bodies we have to talk to boys about the same thing because by and large it's happening now if you're caught in a situation like this child mm -hmm. that we saw michael Rainey in mm -hmm. in this incident how would you handle that if you were michael rainey i think he handled it the best he can which is being forthcoming once you have your bearings put it that way and you're you're not shocked anymore right that person is still there still being aggressive how would you handle that oh to say no you yeah, mean, yeah. in that moment you know, we teach, he froze. It's a trauma response. That's what his limbic system went into. He didn't do anything wrong. He did come back and say, look, it's wrong. I'm not sure if he could have done anything more than he did. He was just shocked. And, and, and let me say this, like, based off what he said, because men are more logically inclined, whereas females are more uh, emotionally inclined. So if, if, that, if a man were to do that to a female... She and she was on stream in that same position. She possibly would have froze. I mean, who knows? Like she possibly would have ran, but like possibly would have like I I don't even know. But let's just say she froze. You know what I'm saying? Like she possibly gonna end up in that same situation, just freezing the whole time, trying to smile it off or something. You know what I'm saying? But the think that a guy won't do the same thing is crazy because no, like just because we're more logically thinking. Like, you don't know if we're just going to think that, like, okay, we're going to get our bearings of what's happening right then and there, and we're just going to be like, no, it's like, nah, sometimes, you know, it, like, it can keep going to where it's like, dude, like, what the heck, what the heck, what the heck, and it's like, one second of that, you think is one second, could be a whole 10 minutes, and the whole time, you're like, the whole 10 minutes, you're like, what the F? And now this happens, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, like you're showing Michael Rainey Jr. being like, what the F the whole time that she's doing it. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that we're more logically inclined as men doesn't mean that, like, we can't be in that same position as, as thinking as women when something like this happens. You know what I'm saying? It's like something big were to happen. Us men and women would think the same thing. Throw all logic and emotion out the window. We all think the same thing. If something big, and I'm talking big, were to happen. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to go into uh, conclusive details. But le like, let's just say something big. We're all going to think the same thing. Like, what the F? All emotion and logic out the window. So this would be something like that. To where it's like all logic and emotion out the window. What the F, bro? That very often. There's one other point I want to make, and people get so confused about this. Um, look, sexual violence also creates sexual arousal. That doesn't mean you wanted it. Mm -hmm. It means your body says, oh, I'm aroused. And it gets very confusing for men who may get aroused because they've been uh, sexually violated. Even for women, we see that. So we've got to do a we get aroused just easier. educating our public that just because you were sexually aroused or you froze and you didn't do anything doesn't mean that was consent. All right, Chow Wynn, thank you for joining us here on The Factor on Sittance of Tonight. Always good to see That's facts. Everything she said was facts. You feel me? Um, 
Yeah, I didn't said everything I had to say uh, throughout the video, man. Y'all let me know your thoughts about it down in the comment section down below. It's Boomer. You're watching Body Star. Leave a like just below the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. 100. Oh! Yeah. Yeah.